Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about holidays and we manage holidays and service now within schedules. Schedules are a system-wide, platform-wide feature. They're used for just about everything. I've got up behind me the resource management schedule. This is used in SPM, Strategic Portfolio Management, or IT, ITBM, IT Business Management. And it's a pretty straightforward one, eight to five, Monday through Friday, um, four hour shifts, and it equals eight hours a day. Um, if you look, I've got uh, September up here behind me, and uh, right here for um, September the 5th, we've still got you know eight hours, but it's a US holiday, so people shouldn't be working, right? So we wanna fix that. I'm gonna close this view here. We're gonna take a look at my resource management schedule. I have those two entries, eight to 12, one to five for the schedule. I wanna create a child schedule. This is how you do it in ServiceNow. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and click the new button in order to create that child schedule. So we're gonna basically set up a holiday underneath this particular schedule. I'm gonna call this US Labor Day. And I'm not gonna set a parent. I'm gonna set the type to holiday, right? So this is just a placeholder for it and we'll call this US Labor Day holiday. Nice and easy, nice and easy. I'm gonna use save because I wanna stay on this particular record. And when I stay on this particular record, it opens up right behind my head, of course, the child schedules and scheduled entries for this particular schedule. So you could have a hierarchy of schedules there, of course. Um, I'm interested in the scheduled entries, and if you look behind my uh, head down on the other side of the screen, this way, I have another new button. So I want to create another entry, or the first entry for this particular one. We'll call it US Labor Day, and I'll say it's going to be time, or no, we're going to exclude it. So it's going to be excluded from the calendar, we're not going to have it on there. We're going to show everybody's time is busy, and we're going to change the date to the first Monday in September, which is Labor Day here in the US and I'm gonna make it all day. So no particular hours, not gonna repeat, and it's a type of holiday. Submit that, and that's it, everybody. I am done, I have made my schedule. If I come back to the resource management schedule, let's take a look at what that looks like. There's August, we'll go over to September, and now I have September 5th showing as US Labor Day. Monday through Friday, eight to 12, one to five has been overridden. It's no longer showing on the schedule. And I ask you to extend this to all the different applications you can use a holiday schedule. So maybe you're not gonna send a notification. Maybe you're not gonna create a resource plan. Maybe you're not gonna create a task. Maybe you're gonna do something else, right? Now that you have visibility into, hey, on September 5th, people aren't here, they're not working, it's a company holiday. This is how you do it in ServiceNow. Use your schedules, create a child schedule, and make sure the schedule entry on there is excluded. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in making sure their holidays are working in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget, always be learning.